Go. All right. Changing the chuck out, take two. Well, what we got here is a collet chuck, and we need to remove it to put a three-jaw chuck on. All right. These are um, cam locks, and right now, if the witness mark, shown right here, is between the two Vs, then it's tightened. What we want to do is take that witness mark and turn it so it lines up with this line, and then and then we'll rotate it to the next, there's three of them. Rotate it to the next one. Rotate it to the third one. And notice how the chucks are to come off. Now I've got this block of wood here to help protect the machine ways and to help so I don't have to struggle removing it. The collet chucks are not that heavy, um, but the three jaw chucks are about 70, 80, 70 to 80 pounds. Uh, which are kind of hard to hold and to line up. So I'm going to pull this one off. Now before, before I put the next one on, I'm going to inspect the face there, make sure there's no debris, no chips that are clinging here. All right, make sure that's nice and clean. There's the three-jaw shot. I'm going to slide it in position, just line the pins up, alright, just line the pins up, that's why this block exists, and you can slide this right in here, and boom, we're in, but not yet, so now we got to tighten each one again, I'm going to snug one, I can get the block of wood, there we go, snug another one, and snug the third one. Now I just snugged them so far, and I'll tighten them a little better. I'm going to make the jaws come in. That way I can remove the block of wood here. There you go. I can tighten this next one. And tighten the third one. You always want to make sure these chucks are tight. If you don't, they could come off on you in the middle of an operation, which could be uh, very hazardous. It could be deadly. So, whenever you use a lathe, always inspect the chuck, make sure it's on good. All right, and uh, and it should have no problem. So that's changing a chuck out.